Uh, it has been a growing part of our community for decades and has played a vital role in showcasing the art of children's books. Now, John Monk explains the story of the Maza Museum. It will soon be told in an upcoming documentary. 40 years ago, the Mazza Museum at the University of Finley was one of the first museums in the country dedicated to the art of children's books. And as the collection of art pieces grew, so did the connections with the various artist illustrators. Now, a documentary produced by WBGU PBS will tell the story of the Mazza and the artists whose work is on display here. In the documentary, you will see the role that it played in the lives of illustrators and authors who are now iconic. So they're reflecting back on the last 40 years of their career and um, showing how Mazza was instrumental. Production for the documentary began in 2019 but was halted during COVID lockdown. Ben Sapp, the Mazza director, says though the museum has notoriety in the children's literary world, it's still a bit of a hidden gem here in Northwest Ohio. So the hope is this documentary can help connect even more people with the work the Mazza has been doing for decades. So the more that we can share information about this work, these works of art, and the importance that they have in children's literature and uh, the stories that they share, uh, the better I think uh, the museum will be recognized as a real resource and something to value and to, uh, to appreciate for many years to come. The Magic of Mazza documentary will air tomorrow night, Thursday at 9.30 p.m. on WBGU, or if you miss it on air, you can also stream it on their website. Reporting from Finley, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.